Baal means Lord. Article by Lou White. B-A-A-L is Lord Moloch. You may know him as Beelzebub. The Lord of Nats seems to have directed the leaders of the world to continue in the same rebellion since the first king on earth, Nimrod of Babel. The confusion of all languages remains intact, even in these modern times. What a person thinks a word means is often very different from the reality of it. So we must restore human communication by making use of the source of all languages. Translators adopted the word Lord to replace the Ibrith, Hebrew name, Yahuwah. It is number H3068 and found in the writing of truth at least 6,823 times in the four vowels, yod he ua he The term tetragrammaton is Greek, meaning four letters. The Tower of Babel is the source of confusion, and Babel itself the mother of harlots. See Revelations chapter 17, verse 5. Originally, Yehudith, or Hebrew, had no sound for J, W, or V. But over time, these former vowels became consonants. The four letters of the name are vowels, Y, H, U, H. And this is confirmed by Yusuf bin Matiyahu, or Flavius Josephus, to modern scholars. Altered from Y, A, H, U, the Y, E, H, O form shows the effect of the symbols invented in the 8th century CE to redirect a reader to say the word Adonai, or Lord. We are still encumbered by the confusion of languages. The letters of Ibrith guides us as we correct the phonological errors we've inherited from traditions to conceal the name. The meaning of the symbols. The word pentagram is Greek, meaning five line. The intersecting points on the lines are mathematical ratios reflected in the design of all living things and the patterns of snowflakes and crystals. There is no reason to think they have powers of any kind. The followers of Pythagoras revered the symbol as esoteric mathematical knowledge, and later mystics turned it into all the twisted ideas we see today. They think the symbol provides protection from evil, but the main goal is to build confidence in their followers, building a thought prison or stronghold. Some combine pentagrams with a tetragrammaton to seduce the symbol. In India and other places, people wave their hands in the air. Mudras, namaste, pray to the dead, light candles, spin prayer wheels, and walk around objects. Quote, O mortal man, is there nothing you cannot be led to believe? Adam Weisop, S.J., Jesuit and founder of Illuminati, May 1st, 1776, and designer of the Great Seal. Without the Torah of love, no, there isn't. Quote, It's easier to fool someone than to convince them they have been fooled. Suspected quote from Mark Twain. Men's philosophies led mankind into open rebellion to Yahuwah. Paul wrote to Timothy, O Timothy, watch over that which has been entrusted to you, turning aside from the profane and empty babblings and contradictions of the falsely called knowledge, which some, having professed it, have missed the goal concerning the belief. 1 Timothy chapter 6, verse 20-21 twenty through 21. In another place, Paul warns of other pitfalls. Quote, See to it that no one makes a prey of you through philosophy and empty deceit. According to the traditions of men, according to the elementary of things of the world, and not according to Mashiach. Colossians chapter 2, verse 8 Prior to the captivity for seventy years in Babel, a prophet could not hold the name back. Quote, Whenever I said, Let me not mention him, nor speak in his name again, it was in my heart 
like a burning fire shut up in my bones, and I became weary of holding it back, and was helpless. Yermiyahu, Jeremiah, chapter 20, verse 9. I have heard what the prophets have said, who prophesy falsehood in my name, saying, I have dreamed, I have dreamed. Till when shall it be in the heart of the prophets, and the prophets of falsehood, and prophets of the deceit of their own heart, who try to make my people forget my name by their dreams, which everyone relates to his neighbor, as their fathers forgot my name for Bel. Yermiyahu, Jeremiah, chapter 23, verse 25 through 27. They removed his name. The preface of the 1983 NIV explains their reason for the removal of the true name. The translators had adopted the device. In regard to the divine name, YHWH, commonly referred to as the Tetragrammaton, the translators adopted the device used in most English versions of rendering that name as Lord, in capital letters, to distinguish it from Adonai, another Hebrew word rendered Lord, for which small letters are used. The NASB preface explains their reason for removing the name is tradition. In the scriptures, the name of God is most significant, and understandably so. It is inconceivable to think of spiritual matters without a proper designation for the supreme deity. Thus, the most common name for the deity is God, a translation of the original Elohim. One of the titles for God is Lord, a translation of Adonai. There is yet another name which is particularly assigned to God as his special or proper name. It is the four letters YHWH. See Exodus chapter 3, verse 14, and Isaiah chapter 42, verse 8. This name has not been pronounced by the Jews because of reverence for the great sacredness of the divine name. Therefore, it has been consistently translated, Lord. The only exception to this translation of YHWH is when it occurs in immediate proximity to the word Lord that is, Adonai. In that case, it is regularly translated God to avoid confusion. It is known that for many years YHWH has been transliterated as Yahweh. However, no complete certainty attaches to this pronunciation. End quote. After admitting it is, quote, inconceivable to think of spiritual matters without a proper designation for the supreme deity they proceed to explain why they did exactly that. They go out of their way to hide the identity of the one true Elohim, Yahuwah, by desolating his name. Let the reader understand the abomination set up where it should not be, an abomination that makes desolate. Matthew chapter 24 verse 5